Hi witches, so today I wanted to talk about why I won't buy from Three Hands Press anymore. So for those who don't know, Three Hands Press is a independent occult book publisher and they have some fantastic authors that they have signed and their forthcoming books that they um, have on their pre-orders page look really amazing, but there's a problem and that problem is they don't actually publish books, at least not anymore. So hear me out because it sounds, sounds really strange, but hear me out. So they put up lots of books for pre-order, but they don't actually release those books for years. I will try and leave a link or I'll put up a screenshot of their book depository page for all of their pre-order titles. Um, but so if you look up Three Hands Press on book depository, you will see that the vast majority of their books that are for sale on there are all up for pre-order. And most of them have dates that say either this year or next year, but the majority of the books are pre-order books, which is a bit of a worry. Um, so the last books that I could find that they actually released were back in 2018. Um, so this is not a COVID issue. Other publishers have been releasing and printing books during this time um, and well before. So this appears to really have been an issue well before COVID. Um, what Three Hands Press seems to do is they will set a release date for their books and then push it back by two to three months at a time until it's been years. So for example, I have pre-ordered two books from them. Um, the one, it's almost a meme at this point of like, will Green Mysteries ever be released? Uh, because basically um, it's a book that was supposed to be released back in 2017, I think it was. Um, I pre-ordered it last year when it said it was supposed to be releasing um, in a, a month's time. So I pre-ordered it in October 2019. It was supposed to release in November 2019. It's now nearly November Um, and it's been pushed back yet again. Um, <laughs> it was another book that I pre-ordered as well during the exact same time um, by Rodomir Ristik. Um, the original title's in Serbian. I would butcher it if I say it, but I'll put the title down here. Um, and so that was another book that I pre-ordered in October of 2019 that was supposed to release at the end of October 2019, and it's nearly October 2020, and again, has not been released. Um, no word of it, it just says unavailable on Book Depository and no one has ever received it. <laughs> so um, they have both been pushed back and continue to be pushed back for this entire year. Um, I get the COVID is a problem, but as I said, this was back um, over 12 months ago before COVID was even a word that was in all of our vocabularies. Um, and Last I checked, they were no longer updating their release dates. I did check just today, which is the end of September, and they have finally updated Green Mysteries, and it now says that it will be releasing in January of next year. So uh, fingers crossed that it actually releases then. Um, but I'm not going to hold my breath for obvious reasons. So people pre-ordered both WitcherCon and Green Mysteries, which are both books by Daniel Schulke, who happens to own and run Three Hands Press, over four years ago, um, and they're both yet to be released. So the worst, the worst part is that both books actually had release dates many years ago. Um, so I'll put in a screenshot of a release day event for WitcherCon, which was supposed to happen back in 2017, which clearly didn't happen. Um, and I'll also show you the back of a book where it states that Green Mysteries is being released in summer of 2017. So this is 13 Pathways of Occult Herbalism by Daniel Schulke. It was released in 2017. And on the back here, it says, his forthcoming book, The Green Mysteries, an original magical herbal, 25 years in the making, is due to be released by Three Hands Press in summer 2017. Right there. And it's now past summer of 2020 and still nothing. So this is the problem. Um, so when COVID happened, they released a announcement that said, 
In acknowledgement of the current climate of uncertainty and disruption, the difficulties of procure, procuring some services such as printing and binding, as well as the need to support our customers, artists, and authors, we will be offering Law of Contagion monographs, a limited series of low-cost publications for the duration of the pandemic. Although these will be using digital printing instead of our usual offset lithography or letterpress, they are designed to our usual high creative standards with new content from your favourite three hands breath authors. These appear to be the only two books that they have published in well over 12 months. And the best part, you can't buy them anywhere except from the Three Hands Press website, which you really shouldn't because their customer service is non-existent. And they have comments turned off on all their social media, which is a red flag. So I'm going to share your story of why you shouldn't purchase from Three Hands Press website directly. So, late last year, I decided to purchase this book, Beneficium, by Daniel Schulke, direct from Three Hands Press, because it was the only place that I could find it. Now, it's a hardcover because they were not putting out any paperback versions anymore. They said they were out of print. So I went, well, I really want to read this book. I can't find a digital version, so I guess I've got to buy it in hardcover. And so I purchased this along with two other books, to try and make up for shipping because shipping from the states is not cheap. Having said that, shipping from Three Hands Press in the US to Australia was 75 US dollars. For those of you who don't know, that's over a hundred dollars Australian just for shipping, just to ship three books when Book Depository will do it for you for free. So, um, should have. Should have just not bought it, but one of the books. Anyway, so I paid $52 USD for this book. Um, and as I said, the shipping was extremely expensive too. Now, aside from it being an expensive purchase, that would have been fine. I'm happy to buy expensive things if they're worth the cost. Um, however, my hardcover version of Beneficium, it does look fine like this with a dust jacket on. But the thing with hardcover books is they usually have really cool um, other details. So as you can see, this one has like um, kind of like black on black and purple, um, like gilded, sparkly um, writing. Um, however, you probably can't see here. I'll try and insert a video. But basically, um, my copy came with glue marks or like mold or something on it. I, I think part of it was mold and part of it was glue marks, but it kind of all blended together. And so I was really unhappy with that. And straight away, before I'd even read the book, I took photos and I sent it to Three Hands Press um, contact us page and also to the email address that I had found. And now most companies will get back to you within a few business days. Um, Three Hands Press has been radio silence for over 12 months. Um, and when I realized they have comments turned off on their social media, it kind of clicked that they don't do customer service, that it's like you get what you get and you don't get upset because if you do, no one is going to listen to you. You have no way of getting a refund. Um, so, yeah, don't buy from their website because if something goes wrong, like it did for me, you won't be able to get any kind of compensation or anything. Um, yeah, so that was really disappointing and it really put me off of reading the book for such a long time too, which is a shame because it is a good book and I did enjoy it but I had to get over the fact that I had this like faulty copy with glue marks on it. And I would love to have this on my bookshelf displayed like this, but the white like glue marks and stuff on the cover would just really bother me. So I just keep it with the dust jacket on to try and forget about that. Oh, actually they did sort of get back to me. I ended up getting a letter from them around Christmas last year. They sent me a Christmas card so, um, look, it's gorgeous artwork of Demeter and with a generic kind of message about the new year. But you know what? Rather than sending me a Christmas card, I would have just preferred a response to my original email because 
There's nothing more frustrating than not being heard as a customer that has spent multiple hundreds of dollars in your shop. So yeah, three hands press. Maybe don't do the Christmas cards. Maybe the money you'd spend on Christmas cards, employ someone to actually respond to emails and customer questions. Um, the other thing as well is that there are people which pre-ordered both um, Green Mysteries and WitcherCon directly from Three Hands Press years ago, and they've actually asked for refunds. And obviously, if people are not checking email messages or reading them or responding, there is no way to actually get that. And so there are people which purchased these books years ago, and they're just hoping at this point that one day they will arrive because they can't get their money back. Um, it's been you know, too, way too long for banks to be able to do um, a charge back. But yeah, I wouldn't be purchasing from the website because um, yeah, if you don't get your books or they get delayed or something goes wrong, then your, your queries are just gonna fall on deaf ears. So I'm just thankful that the two books that I have on pre-order from them are with Book Depository. Book Depository is pretty good. If I wanted to get a refund from them, I know that I could. At this point, I'm, I don't know if I'm just going to keep waiting or if I'm going to give it a few more months and then ask for a refund. I don't know. But it's honestly, it's just this bad business practice. And I think that if you can't deal with any kind of customer service, then you really shouldn't be in business. A bit of a side note, um, they also said, and this is something which kind of goes to show that they they don't really honour their word with things. So they said, in response to the pandemic, we'll also be ramping up offerings of titles in the format of ebook, a format which we have previously avoided, but which makes good sense in these times of social isolation and extends a welcome hand to our ebook customers. Our first offering in the ebook format is 13 Pathways of Cult Herbalism by Daniel Shulky, which is this book which I've showed you. Um, more will be added in due course. So they put this out in February and it is now nearly October and 13 Pathways of Occult Herbalism is still the only ebook book that they have published. Our first offering and only offering, it seems like. Um, yeah, so much for more will be added in due course. So if for some reason Daniel Shulky or anyone else associated with Three Hands Press happens to come across this video, I hope that they take these criticisms on board and they increase their communication with customers or on social media and just actually release these books that people have paid for and people want to read. Um, like, I don't want to cancel my pre-orders because honestly, I just want the books. Like, I love reading books and I love the authors that they have signed. Um, and so I hope that by some miracle they're published by the end of the year. Apparently Green Mysteries is coming out in January. I don't know, maybe I'll wait and see if it gets pushed back again. Maybe through some miracle it will actually get published in January. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I just find that it's soured my enjoyment of Three Hands Press books now, knowing just how unreliable they are with publishing books and responding to customer service and things like that. So... Yeah, this is just a bit of a vent. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've purchased from Three Hands Press before, if you had a great experience, if you had issues, if you've ever been able to actually get a response from them, um, or if you have any of their books on pre-order. Um, or let me know if you know of any other occult book publishers which I should check out or which I should avoid. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully it saves you from um, accidentally buying from their website and not realizing that their customer service is just terrible. Um, but yeah, I hope that you have a lovely weekend and happy reading. <laughs> Bye.